40 billion tons of carbon dioxide currently being emitted from burning fossil fuels are linked to severe climate changes. CO2 is the most important greenhouse gas for two reasons. Of all the greenhouse gas emissions, CO2 is the most prominent one. It accounts for 80% of all the greenhouse gases emitted by human activity. And, and second of all, once it's in the atmosphere, CO2 tends to stick around, so it can be very long-lived and exert its warming effect for hundreds of years. Responding to EPA regulations asking for a 30% reduction in CO2 emissions from the power sector, researchers at Sandia National Laboratories have developed the CO2 Memzyme. The CO2 Memzyme provides the only cost-effective way of capturing CO2 and purifying CO2. The CO2 memzyme is a membrane, and we call it a memzyme because this membrane's active layer has uh, an enzyme in it that's dissolved in water. The two critical features of a membrane are selectivity. You want to transport one molecule to the exclusion of all others. Secondly, you want that to occur really rapidly, so have a very high flux. So our membrane has both perfect selectivity and has an extremely high flux. And so its combined characteristics exceed those of the DOE guidelines and it's, uh, I think it's a dramatic improvement over what exists now. This revolutionary advancement in membrane technology utilizes a flexible substrate that is designed to stabilize an ultra-thin watery film loaded with enzymes that dissolve CO2 only. The Memzyme uses no toxic chemicals, requires no extra energy, and can withstand high temperatures when placed in power plant flues. And the fabrication process is surprisingly simple and cost efficient. We fill this commercial porous substrate with a nanoporous structure, and also we will modify all the pore surface with hydrophobic groups so that they hate water. And we, we will modify only a very thin layer of the nanoporous structure into a hydrophilic surface chemistry. Then in that case, if we soak this membrane into a watery solution, then the water will only be concentrated in a small thickness of the membrane. The first step of the process is to have some CO2 come in from the, from the uh, mixed gas flow. That CO2, some of it dissolves into the liquid phase. Then that CO2 is quickly converted by the enzyme into bicarbonate. The enzyme is quickly removing that CO2, and by doing so, it allows for more CO2 to come in at the top layer. Now, the, the product on the other side, we find we have extremely high selectivity, um, 10 times higher than any other membrane we know of for selectivity, so we produce a pure product on the other side of the membrane that can be used in other applications. Other applications include enhanced oil recovery and biofuel production. The membrane is also highly adaptable. The CO2 memzyme has many uh, different applications available to it. And uh, one of these in includes separating other gases from a mixture. And an example would be to separate um, methane from a mixture of gases by putting in a different enzyme that converts methane into a water-soluble form. And that would inexpensively remove impurities from natural gas. The CO2 memzyme has the potential to remove 90% of CO2 emissions. That's the equivalent of planting 63 million trees for each power plant and letting them grow for 10 years. In the future, coal will still be the favorite way of generating electricity. Meanwhile, the demand for coal is going up. And in a few years, uh, globally, there's going to be a greater demand for coal than, than there is for oil. And that's because people, everybody wants cheap electricity and coal provides cheap electricity. At the same time as we use more coal, emissions get higher. So CO2 emissions get higher and they're expected to increase by 11% over the next 25 years. And so that means more threat to uh, the climate. So this technology is important because it gives us a way to keep electricity cheap and also to save the environment, to stop climate change.